Hello guys, it's Tiffany, HCG Cutie, and I just wanted to jump on here because I hadn't been on in a few days and let all of you know how I was doing and I have a few shout outs and other stuff I want to talk about. Um, the last time I vlogged, I was asking advice about having a few drinks and um, I decided not to. I was really just too chicken about it. I had waited six days to get out of a stall and it finally happened and it just, it really didn't look too appetizing to me. I don't know. I guess it wasn't worth it. Um, I'm going to just stick it out, wait till P3 and then go ahead and have my drinks then if I still want to. But yep, I didn't do it. Um, let's see. Also... I, so I said I finally broke that stall. I was at 172 for like six or seven days, and I finally got um, to in the one like 170 point something. Um, so yeah, I was so relieved to finally get out of that. And I was trying to think what I did differently in that week. What could have possibly caused it? And the one thing I did do is, um, which I don't really know how this would have affected me but I got some apple chips which is just dehydrated apples I guess apple chips um and it said in the ingredients just apple ch plain apples and cinnamon but I know that's one thing I had bought up a bunch of bags at Walgreens and I had some of that every day for that week so that's the only one thing that was a really a big change so I don't know if that had anything to do with it but just in case I'm not going to get those again um but yes, so today I am 169.6. Oh yeah. Very, very happy to finally be in the 160s. This is a huge thing for me. Um, now the last weight, the lowest weight that I've been in the past five years, well no, the past three years, uh, was 162. And that was in 2012. And so as soon as I get to 160, uh, one, I'll be in new territory, which I haven't been in a long time. So all throughout that week that I really was not budging, I did track my inches and it wasn't a total loss because I lost a half inch in my thigh, one inch in my waist, and one and a half inches in my hip. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So, yep. I uh, just want to get a few shout outs going. Um, I would like to shout out to Susie's Body Evolving. I am so excited for you. I wanted to tell you, you look great. I mean, I can tell in your face. Um, you just look slimmer. Um, and I'm excited. I love that little catchy uh, song that you have. Uh, and I love that you have energy like a cat. So excited to see you so happy. Uh, Andy, hey, I'm excited you're on your own. Look forward to see how that, seeing how that goes. Uh, Mama Jo, excited you are on your own, and wow, I am so happy for you at that huge loss. I think it was like 6.4, and someone was like, is that an April Fool's? And you're like, no, that's for real. That's awesome. Um, Peggy, so glad to see you are doing um, I saw those before and after pictures, and oh my goodness. And that is only like, I think it was like five or six days after. That is amazing. I am so thrilled for you because I know how excited you're going to be to see the final outcome. Uh, let's see. Ricky, I just wanted to say, yes, let's do this thing. And Katie Lee, let's do this thing. I suggested a 20-day pop challenge. I have a trip on the 19th. Um, me and my family, my birthday's on the 12th and my nephew has the same birthday. So what we're doing is we're renting like this old, huge, big house in Mississippi, way in the country, like so way out that we probably, I think you can't even get there by GPS. Um, but we're, and there's no, we're not going to have any TVs, no phones, nothing. And we're just going to spend a wonderful uh, Easter weekend together as a family. Uh, my sister-in-law and her family, my family and my in-laws, and we're going to have a great time. So that's on the 19th, so I want to lose as much weight as I possibly can. I think throughout this whole thing, I have always been very lax and stri uh, tried to stay close to pop, but um, 
like I'll tell you some things that I am eliminating. Um, I have been a little bit too liberal on the sugar-free creamer. Like instead of using like I was replacing the tablespoon of milk with a tablespoon of sugar-free creamer which is fine but then I was having like I wasn't measuring it then I was having a few more cups of coffee so I'm totally cutting that out. I'm cutting out the cottage cheese because when I have the cottage cheese I put sugar-free creamer in there and stevia so I'm cutting that out. No cottage cheese. Um, I have been having some flavor in my water and I think it's like Splenda and I've been like putting it in every water so now I'm just going to use that in one, one or two waters just a tiny bit. I barely put any because it's very strong. Um, and it's like flavors like blueberry or green apple. So I'm going to just put a tiny bit of that. Um, I'm not going to use any coconut oil. Uh, I was using a little bit of that to cook. And I'm not even mixing my vegetables, guys. I can't even believe it, which I probably don't even think it'll even matter if I did. Now, I know Simeon's Protocol says you can put like a tablespoon of onions to taste. And I am doing that whenever I saute my cabbage and whatever else but yes i'm sticking so close the only thing i'm doing is substituting the sugar-free creamer for the tablespoon of milk and i'm only gonna have that in absolutely no more than one tablespoon uh let's see what else i was doing hmm oh yeah last um uh two days ago i saw some pb2 and i was so excited it was so funny my husband said he wished he had a video camera because i saw it and i said pb2 <laughs> the lady turned and looked at me and she's like, what? And I was like, tell my husband, I bet she went and checked out to see what that PB2 was after I left. And he's like, yeah, totally. But uh, I saw that on Jennifer's vlog and she's on um, Litman's Protocol. So I saw that and I was like so excited that I was like, right when I was walking out the store, I was like putting some of the powder in my mouth and I was like, oh my God, it's so good. It was a... Uh, like mixed with chocolate, it had like five carbs, um, yeah, chocolate PB2, but that is out, none of that, um, let's see, I was having laughing cow, one laughing cow cheese, none of that, sometimes I was having a mozzarella stick, um, in place for like half of a protein, none of that, so I'm taking all that, so this is a total 20 day pop challenge, I started today, if any of you want to join, you can join me and Ricky and Katie Lee on this 20 day pop challenge. So I hope to lose the max amount of weight. I am really excited to see what happens uh, when I stick to total pop. I mean, I'm sure it's going to be awesome. Um, and I told my husband, I'm like, I told him what I was going to do. He's like, yeah, right. You're not going to stick to it. I'm like, yes, I will. I will. He is so funny. He is like, tries to mimic my vlogs. And he's like, hey, this is this is his version. Hi, it's HCG Booty. <laughs> Makes fun of me. Um, so crazy. But yeah, we have a lot of fun laughing about everything. Um, today is my 45th VLCD. And I'm feeling great. Everything's going great. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna do that pop challenge. Let's see, what else did I have to say? That's it. I'm excited to see the results that are going to take place. But yes, I turned 30 on the 12th, so I would like love to do everything I can to lose as much as I can um, to be as thin as possible for that day. The big 30. Like, it's so weird because like I really still feel like a girl. I mean, I, I'm a woman, but man, it's been, it's taken me the hardest to actually identify myself as being a woman. Like, I, I don't know. I guess I'll always have that inner kid inside, but yeah. Oh, also, I wanted to say, where is, I really miss Nisi and living the life, girl. Yes. I hope you guys get on soon and vlog. Miss you guys. Um, so sorry if I left anybody out. Um, well, that's it, guys. It's late, and I just wanted to tell... You guys, hello, and let you guys know what's going on with me. Love you all. Bye.